Evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 10 of this SS Canberra tutorial. Uh, today's focus is the swimming pools, lifeboats, uh, gantries, pillars, all sorts of things to do. Uh, but I don't think this will be the last video, so we may have to do another one after this. But uh, before we do anything, we're going to go to the back of the ship and sort of work forward. So we're going to put the two swimming, swimming pools on the back of the ship. Uh, and they're not particularly detailed, they're just squares basically. So we'll go right to the back of the ship and we'll work out there. So we'll go to the back sort of pancake uh, decks if you like. So we'll go to the uh, one, two, three, four, the fourth one at the top here. So this first one we've got some space. We'll go to the center block and on the wood we'll count back to the tenth block. So that's the first, so that's the sixth, seventh, eight, nine, and ten. So on the tenth block we build our pool. Now it's up to you if you want to build the pool in the deck or above the deck, it's up to you, but I'll build it above the deck. So the pool is nine wide, so I'll build it on the deck. So it's one and then four that way, and then one, two, three, four that way. And I just make sure that's nine because it's, I miscounted, so that's nine, so we are, so that's nine like that. And then the sides are 12, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then across the back. And that is the base of the pool. And then in the inside you just remove all of the wood blocks. I used one letter for this one. So I remove all the wood blocks. Set zero, so you've got a big open space here. And then you also remove the blocks underneath the base of the pool as well. So I should once again I should use weld weld edit to remove all of those. So there we go, there's the base of the pool and there you got the gaps underneath the base of the pool. So what we do is basically fill in the whole gap with white blocks or blue blocks or green, any colour you want just to build a base to the pool. And the, the pool itself is only one block deep but you can if you want to make it two blocks deep just by building another block down. But it's up to you how you want to do this one. So. As you can see, the bottom of the pool is one block deep, and I should just use weld edit to uh, uh, fill in the rest. So weld it from there to there. And we use set quartz like so, and there we go. That's the pool filled in. Nothing special, is it? It's just a square. So um, yeah, it's nothing, uh, nothing magical. Uh, but you can add uh, smaller pools to the sides. I think I think one of these. Uh, pools on the deck actually had sort of jacuzzi at the side, so I think we'll try and add one of those. So we'll add, uh, which I think how to do this: put a block, build a sort of round shape. <laughs> Not doing it very well. Uh, yeah, um, so we'll go. Like so, so there's a sort of jacuzzi shape there. <laughs> like I said, I'm not doing it very well. And as before, just remove all the uh, wood blocks inside and fill it in. I think what I've done is made the jacuzzi thing slightly too big, but that's no big deal. And I'll do, I'll do the same on the other side. So I'll do one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, and you sort of get the idea. I think that's the same size. Yep, that's fine, and then I just remove the wood inside, and then add the floor. So, like I said, the jacuzzi is slightly too big. You can just sort of resize it if you want, but unless we've got two things there, yeah, it kind of looks a bit suggestive, but you know, that uh, that's that one. All right, so now what we're going to do now is go up two more decks. So go up one, and then two decks. So we're on the deck. Uh, there's the top deck with the funnels on it, and there's the top deck, so we, we, what we do, we go down to the next deck below that, and then we're going to build a pool again, so we're going to leave a three block gap on the wood, so one, two, three, and on the fourth block, we'll build another raised pool, and this one is 15 wide, so that's seven either side, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that way, and then the sides are five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and it's a roughly, it's basically a rectangle, but you can make it a bit more uh, curvy if you want. So if we remove the corners and put, make it a bit more oval shaped, it shouldn't look too bad. So there we are. There's the pool. 
sort of shape and as before we just remove all the wood blocks inside then you set to zero like so and then we just fill in well with the white blocks like so and there we are there's the pool added there now I think this pool had jacuzzis as well, but I'm sort of limited for space here. So you, if you if you can uh, fit a, a jacuzzi at each corner, or each end rather, in the uh, side of the pool, then sort of like that, but a bit smaller. If you know what I mean, so sort of jacuzzi at each end. But if you want to do that, go ahead. I won't bother because, I'm, like I say, I'm sort of restricted for space. So I'm going to leave that for now. So that's that. So that's the pools roughly and uh, we'll leave it at that so I'm just going to check my notes and work out what to do now right so what do we do now we're going to build the lifeboats now uh, the lifeboat stations are already in place I've not added any doors and windows to these things and I haven't explained how the doors and windows go on here I may have showed them on the prototype but if you can see on the prototype inside the uh, lifeboat stations the windows are basically sort of five or six windows along then a couple of doors five or six windows along and a couple of doors there's no real uh, spacing I've put in for the windows or doors in this area so I won't bother putting them in on screen I'll do them afterwards but you may, if you can see on the prototype you can just see windows and doors all spaced evenly uh, we just fly over actually so you can see the lifeboats above there you've got the doors and windows like I say you've got about six or seven windows one two three four five six seven eight eight windows actually eight windows and then a pair of doors then another eight windows pair of doors and you sort of get the idea and the windows above are basically just a single window and a slab and these are evenly spread as well two blocks between each so that's the lifeboat gantry area for the doors and windows no real expl explanation needed so what we'll do we'll abandon that and we'll go to the lifeboats and we'll build the lifeboats rather so what we're going to do is work out how to do this now so what we're going to do is we'll start roughly in the middle here so we've got a middle middle gantry here and we'll start at the gantry here the gantry is all face forward so we're at the front of the gantry here and we're going to go uh, sort of go directly in from the gantry so you've got the gantry here and we're going to go directly in from there and build out one two three four five and then one two three four five so you've got two rows of five out like that and at the end we're going to want s stairs so I'm going to use quartz stairs if I can find them there and these are upside down so put a quartz stairs upside down there and then another pair there like so so you've got a gantry which sort of sticks out five and then stairs at the end like so. Uh, just have a look at the prototype, and it should be okay. Actually, I'm just going to measure how, how many gaps there are, how, how many blocks between each one there are, because I didn't measure that one. But as you can see, there, you've got the first one there at the end of the of the end of the uh, pillar there. So the first gantry. So I'm just going to measure between the two. So or measure the gap. So between one and the other, it's a 14 block gap. So that's fine. It's the same length as the boat, actually, as as the lifeboat. So I'll leave a 14 block gap from that first one we just built. So 1, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it's a 14 gap, so build on the 15th. And we do the same again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So another two rows of 5 like that. And then upside down stairs. And they'll support the lifeboats. So you build the lifeboats between the two gantries. Now the lifeboat design sort of varies because I'm not <laughs> not really done a very good job on the design but uh, what I've done I'm going to fly over again because I can't remember how to do this uh, the lifeboat design itself is sort of not ha actually connected to the well they are they are connected slightly with slabs but they're not actually connected to the base of the boat so the boats are 14 blocks long and four blocks wide so we'll go back to the gantries and from the bottom set of stairs here what we're going to do is add a block preferably a, a block and then a block down like so and then remove the top block so we've got a block hanging below the stairs there so what we're going to do is double that in width again like so and then build two out there and two out the other way and remove the two middle blocks so that's the front of the boat or the back in this case and then you get the two side spurs like so so do the same the other side from the gantry there put a block and then a block underneath and remove the top block and then we build another block to the side and then two out that way and two out that way and remove those two and then build connecting the two 
end blocks together like so like that. so you've got a base of the boats shaped like that and then for the bottom of the boat we'll build sort of the base of the boat like that so it's two down and then the base of the boat is basically a long block a long line two blocks wide 12 blocks long so the boat is 14 blo blocks long and the base is 12 blocks long so you can sort of see like that and then we just fill in the uh, base up uh, yeah fill in the whole base I didn't really need to remove those two blocks in the middle there so we just fill in the fill in the boat with white blocks like so so there's uh, our sort of lifeboat design and then for the red top which is what uh, sort of purple it's I can't remember what I used what did I use I used nether brick slabs so I used those and I think I used stairs as well yeah so we used stairs and brick slabs so I put slabs two slabs at each end so two slabs there and two slabs there and then we use stairs to build sort of a design like that and I do the same the other side it's an awkward thing to build because it's in an awkward place so I put stairs across front there and then stairs across the back as well so stairs like so and then place the damaged ones and the same on the other side so put stairs there and there and then another awkward thing we've got to put stairs going across the width here so put stairs there so it's a two block gap and then put stairs and then same at the other end two block gap and then stairs again is that how I done it no it's not, so what we actually want to do is remove those ones and try and work out, so it's a three block, four block gap there and a four block, there we go, so that's what you want a four block gap stairs and four block gap stairs, so that's the sort of design you want and then we'll add slabs add a, add a slab behind the stairs and then double that up in height so I'm not, tr not I'm, sort of, I'm sort of doing this at random now because I don't really know what I'm doing so yeah, we we'll put a slab behind and then sort of like that. But it's n I'm not really designing it very well. But you know, it's, it's sort of random. So we'll do build it like that. I think. So sort of build the boat like that. It, it's it's something that's it's going to take a little while to perfect. Because I did it took me a while to get them on the prototype. So I just fly back over again. And how did I do this? So I built stairs basically how I done it there, but I, oh, I built mine with a three block gap, okay okay, okay, so well, I'll try and do that again sorry about this, I'm just not very well thought through this so it's a three block gap so stairs there and stairs there I think like so, and then something in the middle and then we add the nether shit afterwards sort of like that but with a bit more details you know this is just crap really what I'm building so once again I've not done it right so it needs to be another three block gap you sort of get the idea like I say it's just crap the way I'm designing it so what I'll do I'll, I'll leave off all the, the nether stuff because it's just a in joke. So I'll just put the boat in and then you can design all the other gubbins on top because like I say I'm not doing it I'm not doing it justice so I'm just gonna put a block there or a slab rather connecting it to the actual gantry and there we go we've got a lifeboat in it anyway so that's that so I'll move on to the next one just to recap what we're doing and get my quartz blocks back so from the end of the gant from the end of the pillar one two three four five out one two three four five out and then upside down stairs and stairs and then a 14 block gap one two three four five one two three four five and then stairs 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 and stairs so well there's the gantries and then we put a slab there to connect to the boat so a slab there and a slab there and then a block or two blocks underneath and then one two out and <coughs> one two out same the other side <coughs> block underneath block two blocks out two blocks out and then join the two ends together like so and then the base of the boat underneath like 
so and then just fill in the gap inside with whatever colour you want and then there's your first, there's your, your second boat done and then as before you can fill in all the crap on top with any design you want if you can try and follow that what I've tried to explain then you're better than me because on what I've done is just random shit so anyway that's the uh, two lifeboats done so what you want you just want to do the same thing in all the all of the, the side parts there should be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so there should be eleven boats on either side and uh, that should be that so what I'm going to do I'll do a jump cut while I fill in the rest to fill in the rest of the boats and then uh, we'll move on to something else so uh, back in a moment okay back again so I've added all the boats on both sides now uh, I've not added a lifeboat into the small gantry here because there's meant to be a small boat but I won't bother adding that because it's just an awkward design but I've got the other ones in place anyway and what I didn't explain is some of these gantry areas are going to be where the ship sort of narrows so you can sort of see here uh, the ship slightly narrows so you're going to have to readjust the uh, gantry slightly say build them one block longer or one block shorter and the boat will uh, hang just fine but the ones at the back I think are slightly different so I just pop down there and uh, explain there so but, uh, the very end gantry is on a double bend sort of thing so the lifeboat will stick out a few blocks but uh, you may need to shorten the gantry slightly but cut, put a couple of blocks to, the, to connect the boat to the gantry and it should look fine so um, that's my excuse anyway so uh, we'll leave it at that so that's the, that's the lifeboat's done so I'm just going to work out what to do next so bear with me Okay, right, so I had to do a quick jump cut there, but anyway, uh, we're going to add some pillars along the uh, side of the ship now. So we're going to go down to uh, the, not the bottom decks, we're on the stern still, but we're not going to go to the bottom deck down here. We're going to go to the next one above, and we'll go back to where the sort of open area ends, so in this area here. And we're going to leave uh, an eight block gap, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hang on, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on the ninth block, uh, no, the eighth block, sorry, we'll build a pillar up. So build a pillar two blocks high, and then two blocks high again, like that. So it's it connects like so. And then we'll leave a 14 block gap. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And on the 15th block, we'll do the same again, but build a pillar straight up. And then another 14 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Build another pillar straight up. Preferably on the inside, so it connects there. And then another pillar on the centre block. So go to the centre point of the back of the ship. And build a pillar 2 up, 2 up, and 1. To connect to the uh, back of the ship. And it should look something like that. And then underneath that end pillar, or underneath the pillars that we just built, we just do the same thing building down to the bottom deck. And on the centre line we do the same again. So two, or one, then two down, or three down. We'll do two down, two down. There we go, that should be okay. And then for the rest of the decks up, say the next two, judging by the prototype, we just add pillars connecting all the decks together. So we'll start at the front one that first one, so we'll build up one, two, and then one, two, and then above that we go up, actually it could have been straight up shouldn't it, so just build up straight up three and the next one to build up two then the next one to build up one, two and then one, two so that's a pillar, as you can see the pillar is in line with all the pillars below, so it's a straight edge there and then the next one along will do the same, but you only need to do this for the next two above because the next the deck above ends. So we we'll go up one, two, three up. Next one above one, two up, like so. And then the next deck along, we just need to go up one. So one, two, three. Go up one pillar, and it should look something like that. You can't really see what I'm trying to explain because it's all white, but you got pillars there anyway. And then we just go to the back of the ship and just connect these last two decks up with a pillar on the center so two up two up two up like so and then the last one two up two up two up there and there we go that's the center and those pillars added there so I just go to the uh, outside edge and I'm just going to copy paste to make sure we get these right so we copy from there down to the center line at the back and we should have pillars on both sides so 
copy, flip, paste. And there we go. That's the pillars on both sides now. And it should look something like that, in theory. Right, so that's that job done. So once again, I shall check my notes and work out what to do. Right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to get my notes and we are going to go to the top deck uh, by the side of the funnels. So we we'll go to the top deck and you've got this deck house which supports the funnels. And uh, what I do, I work on the left hand side. So I'm going to work on the left and work forward. So uh, from the back of the funnels, you've got well, the, the funnel deck house, you've got the, the outside edge, which is a long wall, and then you've got a row of six, and then you've got a row of five. So from the row of five, I'm just trying to work out which block it is. Uh, on five side. I'll pop over to the prototype in a minute because it's going to take forever to work out. So I'm on the prototype in the wrong place, but never mind. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the row of five on the back and the fourth block along. That's what I wanted. So I didn't write that one down. Okay. Do do do. We'll fly back over now. So once again, I'll work on the left, left hand side. So on the left hand side, we've got this row of five like the four, like I said, this row of five here. And on the fourth block, we build out. So we're going to build out. 11 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 like so and then we're going to build forward because this is going to be a long line uh we're going to build forward 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then 131 that's 131 so, so that's the first block and i should measure it as we go along so that's 1 3 long 1 1 3 1 long so wait till i get to the end We'll just build it as far as you can, then then measure it. So it should be one three one. How far is that? That is that's seventy one. So a bit further to go. And that is one eighteen. And that's that's one three one, and at the end of the one three one, you just build in one two and one two like so, and it should look something like that. You got a line down the side, and then what we're going to do now is uh, on the one three one, we're going to build. We're going to count twenty nine forward. So from there. Down to there, that's 27, 28, 29. On the 28th, on the, on the 30th block, sorry. So there's a 29 gap. So 20, on the 30th block, we build in. That was, how many that's? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So build in 9. And then forward of that, leave another 29 gap. Up to there, that's 29. And on the 30th block, we build in again. 1, 2, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then I think that's fine. So that should be that. So that's those two sections done. So you've got the outside edge, which is one, three, one, and you've got those two lines there. So what we're going to do now is glaze these side parts, these side walls that we just built. But first, we're going to add doors. So oh, hang on, how we're going to do this? These are going to be three high with glass so we're going to get glass it's up to you if you want to use glass blocks or glass paint i'm going to use glass blocks because it's easier to work with so from the edge we're going to build two wide and three high glass two wide three high glass and then a pair of doors in there so you've got two big two big windows there and then a pair of doors and then we add walls around all the way high all the way around so in total it should be five highs at the bottom base and then one two three high for the windows and then the top plate so that should be five high so just build this five high going to the corner and then we'll add slabs above the doors and then glaze the rest actually just glaze above the door solid like that so there we are there's the uh, back wall and then for the side walls all the way along it's basically just gla uh, just glass with pillars in between, so it's three high windows like so, two wide, all the way along. So you leave a pillar between each, so you got windows like that going all the way along this section. 
So I'll, I'll build the first few and then I'll uh, do a jump cut when I fill in the rest. So there's the first few done and as before you just go on the install, go on then to build the pillars around them. forever to do this is a real pain in the house to do for it. anyway there's all the windows done on the sides and it should look something like that there's well that's the ones I've done so you just carry on the same thing all the way to the front of that 131 and then it should all look fine so I'll do a copy paste of the ones that I've got so I'll copy uh, say I don't know five or six at a time so I'll go to here copy from there down to there and copy so I don't want to copy too many and paste them in the wrong place so I'll just paste them all the way along. That's the next set. And then the next set. The next set along. And then we're nearly at the end, so I'll just fill in the rest with uh, freehand. So, and into the corners there you can probably put a, uh, I don't know, probably just put a wall or a glass or whatever. I'm going to leave them as just the two twos like that. And uh, there's the windows all the way along and, and like I said this section here you can probably, I don't know what to do really because it, it sort of looks bare not being connected up so I think what we'll do, we'll remove the two two and just build them uh, well, put a pair of doors in here, that may be more logical, so put a pair of doors in there and then we'll connect it up to the top there like so, and there we are, that, that's that section done there and that don't look too bad, so there we go, I've got the windows going along the side like so and it uh, don't look too bad and you do the same on the other side, but before you do that you've got to add the windows and doors to the in sections here, so you've got these these uh, lines going inwards as well so for the middle section, say halfway along add a pair of doors and then for the rest you just glaze. So I put uh, doors around and then the rest of the space you just put windows. So these windows are a bit bigger and put windows across the top as well, why not? And then blocks across the top like so. And no, not too bad. Do it. And then the next one along we do slightly differently for this one. We'll add a pair of doors again but this, this time we'll, the, 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 the windows are still three blocks high uh, so put three blocks high like so and then we add a line across the top no actually we add a slab slab roof across the top so slabs across the top going all the way out to the side so you can see it's one block it's, well, it's half a block lower because of the slab so put windows in there like that and then the pillars in between like so and then at the end here we can remove the stair block and place it with a normal block and a slab and that connects up like so so it's half a block lower but still sort of looks the same so that's those sections there and I've not explained it very well I know but it's it's there nonetheless and that's all that matters so what I do I should just quickly copy and paste them to the other side because it's the same on both sides so just go down to the back end and copy and flip it and then we can do the other side or just move on to the next job so I shall copy up to the centre point there and then we'll do uh, copy flip paste and there we go that's both sides and uh, it should look something like that it's definitely more cluttered up there now so we've got a, a definitely a much more full deck 
and uh, that's that section there. So if we look on the prototype, it's virtually similar, but this time we got uh, uh, pillars to add. So what we're going to do now is add pillars along the side. And these pillars, I'm not sure how many there are, because I've not written it down, so that's always a good start. I'll just change the page on my notes, so I know what I am getting at. So we're going to add... Uh, don't know actually. I don't know how many there are. I think there's 24 actually, so there's 24. And... Do I look at what to do? So we'll go over to the edge, we'll go... Each all right, each pillar is sort of in line with uh, an end of the uh, wind at the end of the window, and there's a five gap between them. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So every two windows, there's a pillar, and on the outside of the ship. So on the outside of the ship, I think it is. I just double check it. Cause I don't want to screw this up. So yeah, on the outside edge of the ship. So what we're going to do on the outside edge, next to the pillar of the window, we go up one, two, three, and then stairs. And then upside down stairs, and then stairs on top, and then blocks across to connect to the uh, side of the window or the area connected to the window. And then you leave a five block gap one, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth block, we do the same so three up, st stairs, 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 block, block. And there we go, that's the second pillar. And then you just do the same thing all the way along, every fifth block, or every six, sixth block, sorry, so one, two, three, four, five, six, do the same. Three up, stairs, 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 and two blocks. And same again, one, two, three, four, five, and on the sixth block, one, two, three up, stairs, 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 block, block. And then again, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three up, stairs, 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 block, block. And there we go, there's the first few pillars done. So do the same thing all the way along until you get to the end. So that should be, I think it roughly makes 24 pillars, but I can't guarantee. But I'm going to do a jump cut while I sort them out. And uh, that should be okay, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay, back again. So I've got all the pillars in place now, and that did add up to 24 pillars uh, on, on each side. So we've got the 24 pillars on the side there like so. And it should look something like that. There's nothing really special but you know it's it's a weird design but you know it's it's there and it just makes the ship look more full so they don't look too bad. So we've got the 24 pillars going from the back of the windows all the way to the front of the window. So I just go up to the front of the windows to see how I've connected them up. Basically up to the doors, just before the doors at the end like so, and if you want to actually, along the top here you can basically build one, two, three to connect to the staircase. And I'll do the same on the other side. One, two, three, like so. It should look something like that. And uh, there we go, that's that little job done there. So that's all I'm going to do for today. There was some other things that I got to do, but I'll leave them for the final part. Because we've got uh, some windows to add along the side of the deck. I think there's some staircases, uh, handrails of course, that also always needs doing. And some other smaller details as well. But I didn't want to do it all too much in one video because it just, like I say, it just takes forever. And when I get into something, it takes me a long time to get out of it again. So we'll leave it at that anyway. And like I say, I do apologise for not doing things properly. And was also a bow thruster as well. I've got to remember that bow thruster. So that's another job for another day. So it's Friday today. So it's probably going to be another couple of days before the part 11's out. So gives me time to plan for the next so um, we'll see about that one so anyway this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing and I should hopefully return in part 11 and like I said we'll finish it there so um, yeah we'll see what happens so uh, that's me gone and uh, bye for now